Come on in, I'll show you the inner uh, workings of A&R Optical. Follow me. We'll stop right here and we'll pull a couple lenses to block up. Come on back. Stop right here at the computer. Putting in right now the prescription into the computer so that it will uh, manufacture the tools that we need and everything. This is the new way of doing it. Uh, years ago, we used to do it by uh, by mine. <laughs> While that's printing, we can take the lens out of the box. Then we come over here, and this is a uh, what we call a uh, a lens blocker for servicing. We use uh, blue wax. Looks like this. Pretty cool, huh? Years ago we used to use lead and that was kind of dangerous. Pretty cool. Give it just a second here and it'll pop up and we'll be ready for the next step. <clears throat> this here, this thickness, is how your lenses, uh, most of them start off at the thickness wise. It looks like a hockey puck. When we get done, it will be down uh, thin as whatever your lens would be. Come on over this way. <laughs> this machine right here, it is called a uh, generator. And push a little button here to get this thing to boot up and open up. And it generates optical power, uh, not electrical power. And what it does, it'll take and cut a, the uh, lens away so that you can see exactly uh, to the pres prescribed prescription that you're going to have. It blocks up that way. And... As I'm putting in the RX, uh, with this particular one. Now we're good. I'm going to go ahead and start and I'm going to cut this lens and you see how thick it was when it went in. Uh, I'm going to sneak in front of the camera here just a second. Turn my vacuum on. Shut. Close the lens. There we go. That's pretty fast. We have to find the tool for this. This is a 500. We come back up here. There's some other things that look a little bit like hockey pucks. Here we 
Chuck. This right here has uh, the number 500 on it, what we need for this job. Come on, follow me. Then we come over to these machines here. These are called cylinder machines. This one here is for uh, fining. These over here are for polishing. And this right here kind of looks a little bit like what you have and used to have in bathtubs years ago to keep you from sliding. They're uh, called surfacing pads. This here's the first fine pad. Put it on there like that. Take this and put it on here. Place our lens on it. Clamp it down. Push our button. Let it agitate and let it run. This process takes about uh, two and a half minutes, somewhere in that area. When it gets done with this process on, on uh, the first find, we'll put one of these blue pads on top of that, and that will second find it, which will make it to where we can deliver on the polish over here. So the fluid acts as a coolant or a lubricant? Or? Yeah, this is this is water being pumped up out of a bucket down in here. And it acts as a, uh, a coolant for it and it washes away the debris that's being sand, sanded away. And it helps keep the lens cool while you're running so it doesn't overheat and get what we call uh, warpage on the lens. Now okay. the, the different color pads, are they different? Yeah, they're different uh, grits. The uh, black pad is about a uh, 600 grit. And this uh, blue pad is probably up somewhere around 2,000. Uh, it's real, real fine. It's almost like plastic when you feel it. And uh, whatever it finds it out, the black pad got everything smoothed out from the generator, then the blue pad finds everything out. So when we go over here, we'll use that yellow pad right there next, which is, it's felt, and it will uh, absorb the polish from this machine right here. It's a liquid polish, and it will crystallize it when you can see through the lens. You say this takes a couple minutes also with the blue? It takes a minute with the blue. So we're right there at it right now. We gotta take the black and the blue pad off of this. Get it good and dry. Pull your felt pad off. Stick it to the tool. Bring it over here. Now we're going to go ahead and pre soak the pad a little bit. And now it'll run about uh, four minutes. And it'll polish it right on. There was just a drain. That was, when you lifted that, it was just showing the drain. This is actually, we keep it up here so it don't splatter out. And since you were filming for this, let people see it, I just decided to leave it down. I got you. So that acts as a coolant and it has a, uh, yeah. an abrasive An grip. abrasive uh, thing else for polishing up. Know. 
Each step takes off uh, just a little bit of uh, material. Okay. Now we're finished that way. Come over here, we'll clean it up a little bit. Do you block it? Yeah, exactly. Sometimes we get some wax that wants to stick to it. We'll clean that off. Now come on this way and we'll check the power out. No. This is called a lensometer or a vertometer is one of the older names for this particular brand. It checks the power. We can inspect it to make sure that it came out right. And it did. This is a right eye. So now we're going to take it and we're going to come over here to an edger. Turn this on. Turn this on. And I have this frame right here. We're going to take and put it in this machine right here as a tracer. And we're going to push a button. And the machine will edge it or trace it. That'll go good with the video. <laughs> All right, so that traces the frame. That traces the frame. And uh, then we have some blocks here. And we block them up. Now that it is blocked, we can put it inside the edger. Close the clamp on it. Press the button, it'll bring the, the image over from the tracer. We have it there. And then we push the button to start. And you'll watch the probe come out and probe the shape of the lens, the frame onto the lens. That way it'll it'll clock the front and back curve of the lens so it knows where to move back and forth to get the bevel properly. Oh, it does the same thing, it's just yeah. a different model. Yeah. Gotcha. I actually forgot about having the air on, so I could have gone ahead and done it. So. Now it's finished. We uh, press our button, the truck opens up. You can see that big lens we put in there. It started out how thick it started out, which it started out like this right here. I kept this other lens just to show you. It started out that thick, that big, down to this right here, the finished product, and it'll go right in the frame. We can come over here at this machine right here. This is a hand sun, and it's got a little sharp edge on there. You just kind of run it around this machine, and it takes the edge away. That way it doesn't cut your face when it goes in the frame, and it doesn't chip, and we're finished. And that's the inner workings of A&R Optical, where we can make your uh, eyeglasses inexpensively and more affordable for you, and, uh, and everybody's happy that way. We can do it because we have a lab here on premises where we can do the whole thing from start to finish. Thank you.